You know, the other day, Patrick Stewart kind of made some waves hmm. when he was being interviewed and he was asked directly about the possibility of him maybe popping up in Deadpool 3, considering how, you know, the relationship that him and Hugh Jackman have, the obvious great relationship between Professor Charles Xavier and Logan and how great their chemistry was together in Logan. And Patrick Stewart, with a little bit of a wink and a smile, said, I've been told to stand by. And that's all he said. I've been told to stand by, which is as close as you can get, I suppose, to confirming that he's going to be in the movie without actually confirming he's going to be in the movie. Because, you know, by the literal letter of the law, he did not confirm he's in the movie. But he came as close as he could by saying that. Well, that brought up a lot of people, even in our own chat boards, asking, well, what about Ian McKellen as Magneto? Well... Patrick Stewart's kind of hinting a little bit at that, too. This comes to us from the folks over at CBR, and they wrote the following. They said, this is Patrick Stewart talking. He goes, I can't say about what Charles's future might possibly hold, Stewart said during a sit-down interview with Entertainment Tonight. The actor who recently reprised the X-Men role in Marvel Studios' Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness did share that his close friend and X-Men co-star Ian McKellen had seen his cameo in Doctor Strange and offered a favorable review. Actually, it went very well. He did say something like, hey, I would have done this. Yes, that's true. But we're not done. Sir Ian and myself, we've got plans. So in talking specifically about returning and playing Professor Charles Xavier, Ian McKellen saying, hey, I would have done this here and why wouldn't this? That's true, but we're not done. Sir Ian and I, we have plans. All right. The first thing that's got to be said here is clear. There are some headlines, like this one here. Patrick Stewart all but confirms Magneto and Professor X's MCU arrival. Okay. The one thing we should point out is that in saying the literal words, we are not done, Sir Ian and myself, we've got plans. He did not say we are going to be in Deadpool 3. He did not say that their plans involve being in the MCU. For all we know, we know, like, if you, if you guys have ever seen the pictures of... Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen traveling around London and going to pubs. Some of the best pictures you'll ever see in your life on the internet. These guys are very, very tight, close friends. They literally could be talking about doing a two-man Broadway show together. Going to Aruba. Know. Yeah. On vacation. Yeah, yeah we got to, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to, you know, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to go to the red light district and, and, <laughs> and whatever that, that country is. We're, we got plans, right? It could be about anything. However... In defense of the places running the headlines and all that kind of stuff, they were specifically talking about the MCU at the time. Yeah. And specifically talking about the fact that, you know, talking about his role in the MCU, he's just coming off saying that I've been told to stand by, he said. I can't tell you what the future plans of Professor Xavier are. And then saying, we're not done. We're not done. We got plans. So listen, I think it's forgivable if you interpret this as him saying that him and Magneto are going to be in there because I am in your camp. Actually, this is one of those times that I actually kind of believe that too. Now, do we know that for a fact? No. Did Patrick Stewart explicitly say that's the fact? No, he didn't. But I'm with those of you who believe he was kind of pointing towards that. They're both going to be in there. And I, I will tell you what Ian McKellen, as great as Michael Fassbender was as Magneto. And, and he was, he's a great Magneto. There's no replacing Ian McKellen. I mean, Ian McKellen, to me, is he's my headcanon Magneto, right? As much as I love Michael Fassbender playing the role, too. Um, oh, look look at that. Come on. That is a guy who is not here to play, right? So the, the idea of seeing Magneto walk into a shot in Deadpool 3, even if it was once, man, I'll tell you, it's getting enough to get your blood going, man. It is enough to get your blood. To see Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen together one last time in something. Because what other movie would be, look, I mean, look at that. This is one of my, this is, there's a few single shots that I really want to at some point get really high res captures of and make really big posters and hang them in my thing. This is one of them. This is one of them. And that is just fantastic to see them together again on screen. And if there's a movie where you can actually do it for, and it makes sense and it doesn't stretch the realms of believability too much, it's going to be a movie like Deadpool three. Yeah. So I would love this again, take it with a grain of salt that he did not explicitly say this, that, and the other thing, but 
I think he meant that they were both going to be in it, and I love the idea. Rob, what do you make of what Patrick Stewart said? How do you interpret it, and do you think ultimately we're going to see these two at least make an appearance in Deadpool 3? Look, obviously the two of them together, we've seen their social media presence. They like to have fun. And I think that Patrick Stewart has finally sort of made peace with the idea that he's done these big franchise properties and that coming back maybe even for a small role is still worthwhile and still fun. You've got Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds together probably making phone calls. Hey, guys, why don't you come over for a couple of days? Like, who's going to say no to them? You know, it's they've got Hugh Jackman now, too. And look, I think that the one thing about Deadpool 3 is knowing Ryan Reynolds now and seeing that he's put this together, I think the mandate is make this movie as wacky and fun and enjoyable and over the top and, and killer and insane as you want. Within reason. And I think that we're going to get, I, I, this is going to be the most Deadpool, Deadpool movie ever. And and I, I mean, like that. this is going to be peak Deadpool. And of course, he's going to pull out all the stops because that's what Ryan Reynolds does. The one thing about Ryan Reynolds is you got to give him credit is that he is very in tune with what's fun and what his audience, what he can do to you. He's always playing to the audience and he does it so well. Look at the relationship he has with his wife on social media. Oh yeah. They're, I mean, they're, they're, great. they're, they're great. And, but, but at the same time, he also wants to make a great movie that the audience won't get enough of. He'd be the first guy to be like, yeah, man, let's get Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen to come back. Cause why not? I mean, what would be really, I can see it now. It'd be Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen, they're at each other's throats, and Wolverine and Deadpool stop being at, at their at each other's throats, and they're like, "Gentlemen, I can see them walk in and stop the fight, or something like that." You know, it'd be whatever it is. It's gonna be great. You know, it's fun. I too. totally believe that they're gonna be in this movie. I, 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 I'm like, hey, now I'm starting to write my own script in my head, which is always dangerous for a fan <laughs> to do. Shouldn't do this, but I can totally see like where Professor X and Magneto are there because they're there to try to stop. Deadpool and Wolverine from doing something. And like you get Deadpool and Wolverine, two of the deadliest characters in the MCU. And Wolverine's like, oh yeah, Bob. And Magneto's just like, flick. Because he, he's all out of him, right? Yeah. And every time Deadpool tries to take a step, Magneto or Professor Hustle is just like, gee, and just yeah. makes him pass out every time he wants to. Every time he takes a pass out, pass out. I mean, I would love to see that. I think that, that would be so much fun. Uh, that would be fun. Now, again, I, it's I'm doing dangerous things of writing my own script in my head. So let's let's get over that. Anyway, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? Patrick Stewart is saying, yeah, me and Neil McKellen, we ain't done in talking about, you know, different things. Do you think specifically he was talking about the MCU? <laughs> maybe make a turn. I mean, some people are even thinking maybe they're talking about Secret Wars. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? I think they're focusing on Deadpool Both. 3. What do you guys think about this? Would, would it be fun to see it? Do you think it might be too silly to see it? I don't know. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second and thank a sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. You've heard me talk about how important it is to have a VPN to protect your online privacy, but choosing a VPN you trust is equally as important. Now, I like to do research on my sponsors, and I only recommend brands to my listeners that I believe in, and I can say with full confidence that ExpressVPN is the best VPN on the market, and here's why. Number one, ExpressVPN doesn't log your activity online. Lots of cheap or free VPNs make money by selling your data to advertisers, but ExpressVPN doesn't do this. They even developed a technology, Trusted Server, that makes their VPN servers incapable of storing any data at all. Number two, speed. ExpressVPN now uses Lightway, a new VPN protocol they engineered to make user speeds faster than ever. ExpressVPN is always blazing fast and lets me stream videos in HD quality with zero buffering. The last thing that really sets ExpressVPN apart is how easy it is to use. You don't need any technical skills to get set up. Just fire up the app and tap one button to connect. That's it. Even your grandparents could do it. And it's not just me saying this. CNET, Business Insider, The Verge, and many other tech journals rate ExpressVPN the number one VPN in the world. So protect yourself with a VPN that I use and trust. Use my link, expressvpn.com slash campia today and get an extra three months free on a one-year package. Visit expressvpn.com slash campia to learn more.